Okay, so today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make flat patterns just on a flat plane, figure out how to do that. Uh, let's do it. So the first thing I want you to do, Shift A, go to Mesh and click Plane. And uh, kind of rotate over to the top of it. Second thing I want you to do, add a camera, hit Control ALT 0 to snap it to view. Click your plane, hit S, and scale it till it um, fills your camera view. All right, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna hit Tab, and then we're gonna hit W, and then click Subdivide. In the, in the Number of Cuts tab, click 60. All right, now down here, click Mesh, Clean Up, Decimate Geometry. All right, um, on ratio here, it's gonna be default at one. You just bring it down until you kinda like what you see. I'm gonna put it right there. And then hit Tab to go out of Edit Mode. Go over here to your Modifiers, Add Modifier, wireframe. I'm going to bring down the thickness a little bit. Now you can leave it at that if you want. I'm going to add two more modifiers. I'm going to add a bevel modifier. I'm going to put the bevel modifier at the top of my modifier stack and I'm going to add a subdivision surface. On your subsurf in render click 4 or 5 and then in view just hit 2 just to get a good idea what it's going to look like. So that's kind of the, that's the look now in your wireframe settings, go to Material Offset, click 1, and also click Replace Original. Now, uh, we're going to go into Lighting and Texturing. So for Lighting, all we're going to do is we're going to add a Sun. Go to your Sun settings, give it a Strength of 20. Let's just make sure that's lighting it. Yes. All right. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our textures. So go to File, User Preferences, in your Add-ons, type in Library, and then click on library material library so now we're going to click on our plane go to your textures and then click new and then go down to your library vx and click cycles materials it's going to take a second to load all right first um color i'm going to put on is car paint i'm going to go up here i'm going to click new and we're going to add something polished I can't pronounce that word all right now that's added if it still doesn't show up on your wireframe when you go over here and you click on your material it's still the same color go to your wireframe and click your material offset and click it again it just kind of resets it and there you go you have your colors uh, control Z to view it real quick boom there it is that's that's your render and you can move the light around if you want just how to get the lighting how you want and then um, give it a quick render and that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Um, feel free to subscribe. My Instagram is linked in the description. Feel free to follow that. And uh, thanks for watching.